Any opportunity that I get to spend time outside, whether that is backpacking or hiking or car camping like I'm doing right now, I'm gonna jump on it. And in terms of car camping, I really enjoy taking all of the necessary gear to make it as comfortable as possible. And one of those game changer pieces of gear that has increased the quality of the experience is taking a 12 volt fridge in the back of my car to keep all of my cold food nice and cold and not have to worry about ice. But what that requires is a constant source of power through the entire trip to keep the fridge running so that the food in the fridge stays cold. We're gonna talk about that piece of gear that powers the fridge, that charges batteries, that keeps everything powered the way that I need it to when I go out on my car camping trips. And that is the Blue Eddy EV70S as well as the EV55. We're gonna talk about both of these battery generators today and how they work and function for me in a car camping scenario. Now primarily, I'm only going out on weekend car camping trips and for the most part, the EV55 would typically be enough power for me to get through a full weekend. However, when I'm running the fridge for the full weekend, it does not quite have enough juice for me to just feel comfortable enough to be able to run the fridge for that entire time, especially if I don't have my solar panel with me to charge this during the day because oftentimes we're out and about and don't necessarily have time to just let this sit and run. So the EB55 has 13 ports on it, several AC ports, USB-A, USB-C, DC, the works. You've even got a wireless charging 15 watt pad here on the top, which is super nice to be able to just take your phone, drop that up on top and charge your device that way as opposed to having to have it plugged in. You've also got the same wireless charging pad here on the top of the EB70S and several other output outlets for the EB70S as well. AC, DC, and a bit more like advanced power with the EB70S. Now this is an 800 watt, meaning that it will power something up to 800 watts. That's an amazing amount of power that allows this to pretty much function anything that you would need to, especially like if you were in a camper trailer or if you bring something from home that needs a bit more power, like a blender, <laughs> maybe we're making margaritas or something when you're out, but this is going to be able to power that no problem. One of the other things that I really like about this, because this is not something that only functions in terms of camping and being out in a scenario like I am right now, having this for a prepper situation and just emergency preparedness allows me to ensure that I can run other types of things at a higher wattage than some of the smaller uh, units that don't quite have as much power. One of the outlet options on here is the USB-C outlet, which has a 100 watt output, which is super nice for a MacBook, for example, that requires quite a bit of juice to be able to power. I can plug directly USB-C for certain generations of MacBooks into this USB-C 100 watt output, a bit more efficient. It's a super cool aspect to this device. Now when it comes to charging these devices, you can use different types of options that are provided by Blue Eddy. The first being the AC input, which is going to plug into your wall at home. And then you've got your input for plugging straight into the unit here and then you've got your device charging and this will provide the maximum wattage to charge it as most efficiently and effectively as possible without taking a super long time. This however is one of the big cons for me and the fact that I have this big brick of a charger that I have to lug around with me and manage and everything is something that I don't enjoy. I've got a EcoFlow River Pro that charges all within the device itself. It's got a inlet into the side of the unit and it doesn't have to have this big bulky thing. Now the issue with this is once the device is also charged all the way, this brick charger still 
stays active. It stays on. There's a fan that runs in here and <laughs> I don't like that. I wish there was some kind of intelligent thing in here that would say, okay, the device is done charging, shut this off and stop wasting the, the fan power and the noise that comes from the fan as well. The other way that you have to charge is to just run a 12 volt cord that has the correct adapter into the unit. Now what I have found is with this specific uh, cord right here that is a 12 volt adapter into the standard input is with the EB70S I can actually run this off of the 12 volt like cigarette lighter in the back of my car and it will charge but it only charges maybe 20 to 35 watts at a time so it's not a high input into the unit but if I am out going for a drive or anything, that's just enough to kind of like keep it topped off and everything while I'm out. The EB55 does not do that. It needs a different type of input for you to be able to charge that is different from this here. Now the other option for you to charge these is the sun <laughs> and to use uh, solar for the option. And this is the uh, 100 plus watt solar panel from Blue Eddy that pairs so nice with this device. I've got over a hundred watts of input when I've got direct sun coming into this device and it charges super efficient. This is not very big and you get everything that you need here with it to be able to do this without having to really know how all the solar connectors and things function. So plug that in, set it up in the sun, boom, you've got a good amount of power coming into the device to charge it and keep it topped off for a full weekend out on a trip. Two other cons that I wanna talk about with both of these devices is I wish that the input for charging was actually in the back of the device where I can plug this in and have it charging or at least have the option of being able to charge from the back of the device because when I've got this in my car I can have this turned in a direction that I'm not taking up space and everything or being clunky with the input here on the front. Give me an input to be able to charge from the back of the device as well. The other big thing that is a not a deal breaker in any way, but when I compare it again to my EcoFlow River Pro, the display. The display on these is kind of annoying. Now it does provide you your input wattage and your output wattage of what's being used and how much is being brought into the device at the time. But as far as the battery indicator and telling you how much battery is left on the device, it's in 20% increments and it does not tell you the number of hours left on the device itself. And with the EcoFlow, the River Pro, it'll tell you how many hours are remaining on the battery uh, lifespan. And that's super helpful because at like 20%, you don't know if that's like 18% or 2% or what that actually is. And so you may be totally out of juice and then boom, you've got a fridge that's not running or other devices that can't charge that you need to have charged. Uh, so I would love to see an update from Blue Eddy to make the display on these bit more uh, focused on hours remaining as opposed to a percentage remaining. So as a general user, somebody that wants something for emergency preparedness and out for camping trips like I am right now, these are amazing devices. The uh, form factor of them with a simple handle on the top, the ability to wirelessly charge my phone, all of the uh, ports and such to pretty much run and power anything that I would need while I'm out on a trip is just fantastic. They are really nice, reliable devices and I've very much enjoyed my experience with both the EB70S and the EB55. Now I wanna thank Blue Eddy for providing these units to me. This is not a sponsored video, but these were provided at no cost to me and uh, happy to share my experience with you of these devices. And I've got links down in the description for you to check them out, but I appreciate you guys watching today. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hope you have an awesome day. See you later.